everyone welcome to this video where we are required to write down the equation of the line given its gradient m and its y intercept c so i already have the general equation of a line at the right hand side of the video y equals to mx plus c so all we have to do for this particular example would then be to substitute into this general equation so i will have y equals to my m is negative 3 so it's negative 3 x plus c but because we are plus because we are adding a negative value so the final answer will be minus 5 i'm adding a negative 5 okay so moving on same goes for this example when m is negative one quarter so it's negative one quarter x and c is 1 so plus a positive 1 is here for uh, plus 1 moving on same goes for this i will have 4 over 9 x plus 0 and when we add a 0 the final answer do we need to write down the 0 nope and so that will be the answer for this line and the last example y equals to do notice the gradient is zero zero times x will also becomes zero so we don't have to write it down so for this particular question y will be equals to negative seven and we are done for this video so if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hello everyone, welcome to this example where we are required to find the equation of a straight line when we are given one point. In this case, it's point A and the gradient itself, okay? And when we have these two pieces of information, we could actually make use of the equation of a line in this form, y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1 as shown in the right-hand side of this video to help us find the equation of the line, okay? So now that I know m is 0 and my point A, x is negative 3, y is negative 1, I am going to just simply substitute in. So I will have y minus my y1, this x1, y1, so y1 will be negative 1. Do take note, every time we substitute a value in, it is recommended to put and use brackets so 0 multiplied by x minus negative 3 close bracket and therefore for this case you will see that this one will be y minus negative 1 will be positive 1 0 times anything will be equals to 0 so therefore, final answer, y equals to negative 1. This will be the equation of this particular line here. And indeed, when we have gradient equals to 0, it is indeed a horizontal line. Okay? So using this, now that my gradient is negative 1 and my x1 
is negative 7 y1 is 9 I'm going to use this so y minus 9 is equals to negative 1 multiplied by x minus negative 7 so I'm going to solve for this so y minus 9 equals to negative 1 multiplied by x minus negative 7 will be positive 7 and after which continue to expand negative 1 times x is negative 1x negative 1 times 7 is negative 7 and finally but slowly I'm finishing my answer so here I will have to plus 9 on both sides so that you will see a plus 9 here so y equals to negative x positive 2 okay negative 7 plus 9 is positive 2 all right with that i've successfully found the equation of the line y equals to minus x plus 2 and we have come to the end of this video do take note this video how this video actually make use of the equation on the right hand side of this video to help us find the equation of the line thank you for watching and have a nice day everyone welcome to this video where we are required to find the equation of a straight line passing through two given points and when we are given two given points the very first step is for us to find the gradient of the line and thereafter we are going to utilize the general formula at the top right hand corner there to find the equation of the line without further ado let's get started okay so i'm going to first get the gradient of the line a b so gradient of a b will be equals to so here i would have my x1 y1 x2 y2 and in order to find gradient of a line it will be y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus my x2 in this case is 9 and this will give me a gradient of 2 over 3 And now, all I have to do is to substitute into the formula y minus y1. Okay, in this case here, I could just either use the point A or point B. So for simplicity, I'm going to use point A. So my y1 will be 9 equals to, again, I it will be good to put the brackets when we substitute values in gradient is two third multiplied by x minus my y x1 3 okay and now our next step is simply to simplify this equation here and i would have 2 over 3 multiplied by x, 2 over 3x, 2 over 3 multiplied by negative 3, negative 2, and last but not least, I will slowly get my answer because I just need to plus 9 on both sides so that I will get my final answer as 
negative 2 plus 9 finally 2 over 3 x this is positive 7 for the next part I would have the line CD so replicating what we have just done step 1 find the gradient so in this case it will be line CD and that will be equals to substitute in I will have my again x1 y1 x2 y2 11 minus my negative 4 and my x1 which will be negative 2 minus 13 this will give me a value of negative 1 and now I just have to substitute in and I will get y minus I'm going to make use of my point c for this particular uh, substitution so I will have 11 equals to gradient gradient is negative 1 multiplied by x minus my negative 2 and for this when I substitute because there's an x minus negative 2 I will simplify the inside first then finally this will be negative 1x negative 2 and I will have to add 11 on both sides so that what you will see is negative 2 plus 11 so that finally the final answer negative x positive 9 and we have come to the end of this video all right do take note how mr tan solved this particular problem step one if they don't give me the gradient rather they give me the two points i find the gradient first and thereafter i will then substitute the gradient and one of the points given into the formula y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 and just after that slowly simplify and you will get the equation of the line eventually well thank you for watching and have a nice day Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given an equation of a line and we are required to do two things. Part A is to express into its uh, gradient intercept form meaning they want it to be in this form y equals to mx plus c and from here we are then required to just list down or write down the gradient and the y-intercept okay so step one part a is to help us in part b you do see that right so given this i am going to minus 2x on both sides and plus 3 on both sides such that I have only left with y at the left hand side of this equation 
negative 2x and positive 3 is on the right hand side of this equation okay so for those who are I will minus 2x and I will add 3 so that you will see what's given on the part A answer and for part B from here then all I have to do is to observe and just by pure observation the gradient is equals to negative 2 and the y intercept is equals to positive 3 with that we have come to the end of this part of the video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching have a nice day everyone welcome to this video where we are required to express the following equation in the gradient intercept form okay so what form is this this simply means that they want to see it as y equals to mx plus c where from the equation i could see the gradient i also could see the y intercept okay so part A requires us to do some algebraic manipulation. The very first one would be, I will minus x on both sides. And I will add 8 on both sides. Such that I'm left with this. Negative x plus 8. Thereafter, I'm going to divide by negative 4 on both sides so all divide by negative 4 so that I'm left with y here negative 1x divided by negative 4 I will actually get negative a positive 1 over 4x positive 8 divided by negative 4 I will get negative 2 and part A is done so for part B you would then see the answer the gradient and the y intercept so gradient is equals to one quarter whereas the y intercept is negative two all right we have come to the end of this video if you like this video do give it a thumbs up Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given a line L, which is at the right hand side of this video, cuts the x axis at um, point A. So I also have indicated there also already. And also cuts the B, Y axis at point B. So I also highlighted it here. Okay, 0, 6. So, step 1, part A, find the equation of this line. So since we are given the two points, so very first step for me would then be to find the gradient. Of this line L okay so in this case here I would then get so to find gradient right I usually like to do this x1 y1 x2 y2 mm -hmm. So y1 minus y2, which will be 0, minus 6. And the x1 will be coordinate 2, minus 0. So usually I like to put brackets when I substitute values into a formula, so that I will not make careless mistake. 
this will give me a value of negative 3. And from here, all I have to do is to substitute one of the points into this formula y minus y1 equals to m bracket x minus x1 whereby m is my gradient and in this case here I am going to substitute my x1 and y1 into the formula I'm going to choose point A okay so you will see me substituting these two with the value so I will have y minus my y1 in this case will be 0 equals to m m is negative 3 times x minus my x1 2 oops and continue to simplify I will have y equals to y minus 0 is y negative 3 times x will be negative 3x negative 3 times negative 2 positive 6 and that will be the equation of this line okay now for part B of this question then we will have to find the coordinates of point C where the line cuts the line y equals to minus 3 so in this case here if we focus back on the right hand side of this diagram that I have actually drawn then you will see that I'm going to draw this line y equals to negative 3 and for this line y equals to negative 3 it cuts the line L at this point here point C and so what will be the coordinates of this point C well the x value t -t 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 -t, as I go through is 3 the y value which is the line y equals to minus 3 so for this particular question then we would be able to get the coordinates of c easily that is from the diagram itself but then if we do not have the diagram how do we do that well we have this equation isn't it and very importantly we can then see that since the line l cuts the y equals to minus 3 line this means that this point c this is an important thing to note is on the line l and if it is on the line l if i know the y coordinate of point C which is equals to minus 3 uh, which is here lah, huh? then all I have to do I could also substitute y equals to minus 3 into the equation of the line y equals to minus 3x plus 6 and therefore this will then give me my minus 3 equals to negative 3x plus 6 from here I would be able to get the value of 6 next line would then see me writing 3x equals to I add 3x on both sides I add 3 on both sides so that eventually I will get my final answer I divide by 3 I will get my same answer x is 3 y is negative 3 okay 
with that we have come to the end of this video so if you like this video do give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and have a nice day hello everyone welcome to this video where we are required for part a uh, to express the this equation into the form y equals to ax plus b okay so this is important because if i compare y oops equals to ax plus b and y equals to mx plus c i hope you can see that m and a b and c are actually the same they represent the same thing and this one will actually tell me that this value here is the gradient and this value here is my y intercept so this is at one point okay so once we get that settled then my next step starting from 6x plus ky minus 9 equals to 0 i am going to make sure that y equals to something yeah so i will have ky equals to negative 6x plus 9 because i minus 6x on both sides i also add 9 on both sides so that 6x minus 6x is 0. I eliminated the 6x and the negative 9 on the left hand side. Next, I will have to divide by k. So that I will have negative 6 divided by k. x. Not forgetting the 9 also must divide by k. And this will be the answer for part a where we have successfully expressed the equation into y equals to something x plus something okay so we can see now that this will be my a which is the gradient this will be my c which is the y intercept moving on to part b then Now they tell me something very important. They tell me that the gradient is negative 3 over 4. Since I know that this represents gradient, and they now they tell me the value of the gradient. So all I have to do is to equate them together to solve for k. Yep. So from here, I'm going to multiply by k on both sides and multiply by 4 on both sides so that I will have negative 24 equals to negative 3k. And from here, I'm going to divide by negative 3 so that I will get my value of k here. And once I know the value of k, I can get my y intercept easily. Yeah? So my y intercept will be equals to nine divided by k and my k is eight. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are given that line 1 passes through a point to negative 5. And there is a very important clue for the second line, which is that the gradient 
of this line 1 is equal to the gradient of another line, line 2, with this equation. Oh. So from the equation, right, remember, if, if, we, we, if we can express it in the form of y equals to mx plus c somehow, then this coefficient of x, which is the number or the value in front of x, represents gradient. And of course, for completeness, this letter c, the number here represents the y-intercept. So I am going to, for part A, going to do some algebraic manipulation for this 3x minus 7y plus 6 equals to 0. I'm going to try and get into this form. So then I can compare the number in front of x. So I will have negative 7y equals to, I'm going to, minus 3x on both sides of the equation and minus 6. So that you will see the next line will be negative 3x, negative 6. And after which I'm going to divide by negative 7 on both sides so that all the terms have to divide by negative 7 and I will get this form negative 3 over negative 7 is 3 over 7 x negative and negative will become positive and from here I will be able to get the gradient of line 2 which is the gradient of line 1. So for part A, right, I have successfully gotten the answer for part A. I'm going to write it at the side. So the gradient of line 2, which is equals to the gradient of line 1, is 3 over 7. And for part B, since I know the gradient, and one of the point. All I have to do is to substitute into this general equation for equation of a line where I would then have my x1, y1. x1, y1 is the num value here and my gradient here. So y minus negative 5 equals to 3 over 7 x minus 2 I would have when I minus a negative number it is the same as adding the number and from here I expand and simplify by multiplying it 6 over 7 and finally y will be equals to 3 over 7x I'm going to minus 5 on both sides so that you will see this working and final answer do take note negative 6 over 7 minus 5, this will give me a value of negative 41 over 7. And that will be the answer for part B. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.